Yashpal Sharma, born August 11, 1954, a former Indian cricketer known for his courageous and improvising batting in the middle order left for the eternal journey after succumbing to cardiac arrest. He was one of the heroes in India's World Cup triumph in 1983. Here are 10 interesting facts about the versatile cricketer. Sunil Gavaskar, Yashpal Sharma's teammate for many years, called him a crisis man. True, challenges brought out the best in Yashpal, who thrived under pressure. Yashpal is the uncle of Indian cricketer Chetan Sharma. Yashpal is almost 12 years older to his nephew. The duo represented India together in two one-day internationals, ODIs, and in one of them, Yashpal took a catch off Chetan as bowling to dismiss England's Graham Fowler. In 1972, while playing for Punjab schools against Jammu and Kashmir schools, Yashpal stroked a brilliant 260. He was spoken highly and soon made it to Punjab University for whom he impressed with an innings of 139. In October 1973, at the age of 19, he made his Ranji Trophy debut for Punjab against services at Jalandhar, and in the second innings shared an unbeaten 169 stand with Mohinder Amarnath. Yashpal remained not out for 60. Success against world-class bowlers, in the Dilip Trophy semi-final in 1977, Yashpal guided North Zone to a victory on the first innings against a dominant South Zone attack. The opposition had quality bowlers like Abid Ali, A.R. Pulli Prasinnar, and Bhagwat Chandra Shekhar. Yashpal batted almost five hours to stroke 173. Frustrated at being overlooked by the national selectors, Yashpal continued scoring in the year 1978. He finished with 762 runs at 76.20 and was named the Indian Cricketer of the Year. In January 1979, against the touring West Indies, Yashpal scored an unbeaten 135 for North Zone. The bowling attack comprised of Van Bernholder and Malcolm Marshall. In his very next game, he ensured the Dilip Trophy title for North Zone when he top scored for them with 89 in the first innings against West Zone that had the likes of Gavaskar, Gayakrad, Dilip Winsarkar, Ashok Marker, Yajarwindra Singh, and Kushan Hirwi. Here was his ticket for the national side. Yashpal scored his maiden test hundred in his seventh test. It came against Australia and in Delhi. In the next test, he almost won India a game at Eden Gardens against Australia. Against England, at Chennai, which won out and Yashpal added 316 the then highest third wicket stand for India. Which were not got a double ton and Yashpal got a 140. The duo batted throughout the second day. They are only the third Indian pair to remain not out throughout today's play. The match ended in a draw. Yashpal set the tone for India as he starred in India's win over West Indies in their first match of the World Cup campaign. Coming into bat at 76 for 3, India was soon reduced to 141 for 5. Yashpal's 89 from 120 balls was not just about his stroke play but also about nimble feel and quick running between the wickets. He guided India to a 34-run win over the then defending champions. His aggressive 40 against Australia and gritty 61 against England played crucial roles in India winning those games. Yashpal scored 240 runs in the tournament at 34.28 as India went on to lift the World Cup. Indian selector, Yashpal was the national selector between 2003 and 2006 when Indian cricket was going through an uneasy phase. He was vocal against the then-coach Greg Chappell and supported Saurav Ganguly.